lush rainforest, there are now more open spaces. Freed from the constraints of living in dense forest, some mammals have started to get larger. Here on the scrub plains, big is beautiful. These changes have not suited everyone. The large killer birds are no longer much in evidence, but the damage caused by the prolonged drought has already been done. These brontothea herds in particular have been hit hard. Though distantly related to horses and rhinos, they're not much like either. They are twice as big as modern rhinos, with brains just one third of the size. They are not the brightest of beasts. Still, they are one of the most successful groups of mammals around, found across the northern hemisphere in herds of hundreds. This year, though, some herds are in a sorry state. This should be a time for calving, but a high proportion are being stillborn. The few youngsters that have survived the drought continue to behave as youngsters always do. These two adolescent males practice for adulthood, challenging one another over as yet non-existent females. In another difference to rhinos, the outgrowths on their noses are not horn or hair, but bone. These are more for show than for headbutting. The bone crests are far too brittle for that. <laughs> 